What is going on guys? So lately we've been getting the reputation that we are German car friendly. Um, for some reason or another, these Volkswagens keep showing up and we got to keep doing work to them. So today what we're going to be doing on this particular Volkswagen, this one is a 2009 Golf GTI. It needs a clutch, a flywheel, and a few other little odds and ends. So we're going to get into that today. Now, this is a long process, but not really a terribly difficult one. So I'm going to take you step by step of what I'm doing. And then as I'm actually doing it, I'm going to time lapse it so that it's not a four hour long video. So, all right. So guys, let's show you the clutch and the flywheel that are actually going into this thing. All right. So here's what's going into the GTI. We have a spec pressure plate. We have a spec clutch disc right under there. Not sure what stage this is. Um, our customer didn't really tell us and it doesn't say on the box. Then we have a new throwout bearing. This one's hydraulic, so we're going to have to bleed the system when we're done. And we have a new flywheel as well. While we're in there too, we're going to be doing the rear main seal along with this retainer. And uh, yeah, so that's, that's the gist of the parts that are going in. All right, so first things first, the way that I like to work on these is basically get everything out of this general area right here where the transmission lies. And this, although this, some of this may not be a necessity, it just makes everything so much easier to get your shift linkage off and your cables and get all the top bolts and any wiring that's on top of the transmission. The mount for the transmission actually sits right about here. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna take off the battery box. We're gonna take the battery out of the car we're going to take the intake off of this and luckily it's got an aftermarket one so we don't have to deal with the whole cover over the engine and all that stuff and uh yeah that'll make our lives a whole lot easier then we'll get everything on the top of the transmission disconnected we'll get all of the bolts out on the top of the transmission we'll get some of the top starter bolts out and then we'll be able to go underneath the car and unbolt the rest of the transmission slide it out and put our new clutch and everything in so this is what we're going to get to now, and I'm going to set you guys up on the time lapse so that you can see the removal of all this stuff. When I saw you, I would lose control. Made me feel like there was no tomorrow. Should have told you that you're beautiful, but the day's passing now, it's so long. Right, guys so here's where we're at we got battery boxes out battery box not plural there's only one got the battery box out we got the intake off we got both of the shifters shifter cables removed we got the actual shifter cable bracket from the transmission removed we got all of the upper bolts probably can't see them but we got all the upper bolts and the upper starter bolt removed we got the clutch line disconnected and uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to go underneath the car and we're going to get the rest of the bolts 
that we can get. We're also going to have to take off this wheel and the axle. I'm going to pull the axle out. Then on the other side, we're going to have to disconnect the axle from the transmission, but we don't actually have to take it out because the transmission goes this way. The axle goes that way. We'll be separating the two of them. So there's no need to take apart that side. We only have to take apart this side. And these Volkswagens are actually super easy to do. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to shoot it up in the air. As soon as we get it up in the air, we'll, uh, we'll bring it back. All right, guys, so here's the next step. One thing I want to make sure is if this, if these or your vehicle that you're working on has automatically leveling headlights, you're going to have a sensor right up in here, right there. And it's got this little arm attached to it. Now you have to make sure that you remove this arm from the lower control arm because we're going to be manipulating this lower control arm up and down and we have the potential to break that sensor. So you just want to make sure that you disconnect it. You can kind of see it better from this angle here. It connects right on that ball. So we disconnected that. Then we're going to pull these three nuts off right here. We'll pull the lower control arm down. This is going to allow our knuckle to move out that way. Then we're going to take off these bolts right here. Now these bolts are what's called triple squares. Now triple squares are very common on Volkswagen and Audi. I haven't really seen them too much on anything else, but they do require a special tool called a triple square. So I'll show you guys. Actually, you know what? Let's take a walk. So this is actually a triple square set. You can see that they match that pattern on those bolts. It's handy to have a set like this if you're planning on working on a Volkswagen. So what we're going to do now is we are literally going to take out all of those triple squares, these three nuts right here, move this out. We'll take the axle shaft out, which we should be able to sneak out of here. And then we'll start unbolting the rest of the transmission stuff. Then we can go up on top, take those top bolts out once we have the engine and everything supported from underneath. Then we should be able to slide this transmission right out.
There's nothing we can do The final hour before we let it go to rest It's such a heartbeat pounding in your chest In this story mm. Backlash written on me Car popping on a passport I'll be ballin' Free my lady sing and down I'm already out all right so as you just saw that was a little bit of a pain in the ass but it is out so now the reason it's a pain in the ass mostly is because this flange you can see how it kind of dips into the actual bell housing area well it catches right on the back of the motor right there and causes all sorts of funky problems plus it hits the cross member here so we had to drop the K-frame just a little bit, or the subframe a little bit. Get that out of the way. And we got flywheel and the clutch off. And you can see we got the rear main seal off. Now here's an interesting little tidbit about these Volkswagens. So this right here is the rear main seal. Now it looks for all intents and purposes like halfway decent lip seal. But when you look at it closer and you see where the failure point is, so now you see that that it's never really attached to that metal piece. And this seal is literally paper thin and brittle as can be. So all of a sudden these things start leaking oil. The oil gets all over the clutch. And I don't know if you could see, but that puddle of oil that's right there came out of the bell housing area. So we are going to be putting that new rear main in here. We're converting from a dual mass flywheel which is right here to the single mass which is sitting over there so should be kind of interesting and of course in the process of this there's always a casualty and unfortunately dropping the motor down just a little bit knocked a piece of plastic hose off up there so we got to fix that too it's always a blast working on a Volkswagen so what we're going to do now is we're going to get the new rear main seal installed get the new flywheel the new clutch which by the way, didn't come with an alignment tool. So luckily we have a drawer full of them, but we're gonna get all that stuff on there, rear main, flywheel, clutch, pressure plate, get all that stuff ready to go. And then we're gonna clean that up a little bit. We're gonna stick the new throwout bearing in here, which is just three bolts and it comes right out. We'll put the new one in. And then literally the funny thing is when we go to put this thing back up in here, it is literally just going to pop into place, like legitimately just uh, pop it right into place. It's so much easier to put it back in than it is to take it out. So here we go. And there we go. Sorry for the low light situation, but uh, my light always decides to die at the very worst of times. So I got to get some more of those things. Just haven't gotten around to it. But clutch is installed, flywheels installed. Uh, as you saw, we installed the new seal with the new retainer plate for the rear main, uh, which should help significantly. That is a much better seal than everything else that was there from factory. So we're good there. We got the steel flywheel from spec installed. We got that torque down to 60 Newton meters plus another 90 degrees. And then we also have the spec clutch disc and the pressure plate installed. We torqued all these to 15 foot pounds. Actually, we went to 20 because these bolts are a little bit bigger than the factory ones. So we gave them a little bit more juice. But yeah, so now that that is all installed, what we have to do is come over here to the trans and we actually have to take out these three small little eight millimeter bolts in here and pull this whole unit off. Once we get that unit off, we'll get the new one installed.
and there it is transmission is back in clutch lines hooked up starters back in clutch lines or shifter cables are all installed that's all good only thing we have left to do on top here is we got to put the battery tray back in stick the battery back in uh, get the intake back on here we have to put the wheel back on and uh, then we will be completely done with this guy so everything went pretty well all right guys so everything went pretty well with that Volkswagen you notice that we did drop the subframe just a little bit so that we could gain some clearance to kind of wiggle that thing out and I will tell you right now if you guys are doing this job on your own getting that transmission out of there is the absolute worst you will have to juggle it and run it and it's, sometimes it's almost easier to do it without the transmission jack and just have a second person there to help you catch it when it comes out. But as you guys will see in the other GoPro footage, right before it died, you see me kind of working it up into there and then all of a sudden it just pops in. And it literally does that. It just, when you put it back in, everything kind of falls into place because you're not trying to lift it and take it out. You're actually just kind of falling it into place. So it goes in way easier. Um, this job on average takes about five hours, five, six hours if you do everything by the book and that's removing all the tubing removing the axle dropping the subframe all that stuff so it's really not a terrible job um you did notice that we did convert it from a dual mass flywheel to a single mass flywheel with a spec stage two maybe clutch we also converted that rear main seal to a nice new piece a nice billet aluminum um, piece with a normal everyday lip seal that is replaceable instead of having to replace the whole unit directly from volkswagen but all in all, guys, this is a pretty simple job. I've done them on Beetles, I've done them on Golfs, I've done them on pretty much everything. Um, not that bad. Take your time. You're going to need the triple squares. It's the only special tool you'll need for this job. You can pretty much get them at any Napa, Advance Auto, O'Reilly's. I think everybody carries them at this point because there's so many Volkswagens out. But, yeah. So, the other GoPro died before we got completely finished up, but I kind of didn't think I needed to show you guys putting the whole thing back together because it's just the opposite of pulling it apart. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope if you guys own a Volkswagen or a GTI, a Golf, a Jetta, whatever it may be, that this helped you if you have to replace your clutch. Maybe you won't have to spend, you know, a thousand dollars somewhere to get it done. You can uh, spend a couple hundred bucks on a clutch kit, do it yourself. So, hope you learned something and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. We're gonna actually be putting an engine into a Murano. So that one should be a good one too. All right, guys, have a good night. I'm going home. I'll see you on the next one.